Hell in a Cell is only one week away, but the first three weeks of this, my GM have been hell for ECW, as we have lost all three weeks in a row to both WCW Nitro and WWE Raw in the ratings. Welcome back guys to Sun Scotland 90. This is episode 5 of the WWE 2K24, my GM, we're playing as ECW. W, or as I like to call it, we're playing as ECW on the GM mode. I am the general manager. I'm playing as Paul Heyman at the moment. I'm not doing a good job. We know Heyman had a lot of checks that bounced. Well, at the moment, my ideas are bouncing. My matches are bouncing. My promos are bouncing off the wall. And we're not coming back with any success because we are dead last year. So Raw, Nitro... Both are beginning to get a little bit of a gap over us, and we need to stop that. We need to stop it right now, so I'm going to go all it this week. We're going to go into the power cards. We're going to use some of these, so we're going to use this one. I know a guy. You get one pair a week, immediately gain 10 talent scout points. I'm going to do that. Boom. There you go. That one's in the bag. Uh, we're also going to get bad timing. Select an opposing brand, reduce the length. Uh, that one doesn't really help us long term. This one doesn't really help us. Fito an opposing brand from booking one of their current champions in next week's show. Uh, we could use that, or we could use that. Uh, block all opposing brands from using free, randomly selected. Now, see, that may actually be a good one just before the pay-per-view. We may, or can I use that next week on the pay-per-view? It says next week, so I'm going to keep that one. Right now, I'm going to use this power card. Shit, this power card. Oh, okay, can we use this one? Oh, brilliant. So, blocking all... So, we can use this one, and we can really screw over both um, WWE and WCW. Let's do it. Boom. There you go. We have used that. I don't really know who the, the people are that have been fetal yet, but we've done that. Now, we need to get to the talent scouts, and we need to... We've got 10,000 scouting points, but let's search for some stars here. So, uh, let's go... We're going to go with... Icons, 50k, we can't really afford that. We're going to go for Reno and Stars. Let's do this, boom. It's going to cost us 20,000 to search, but I think we need to bring people in. I want a couple more additions to the roster, because this week we had three people vetoed, and it, it's hurting us big time. We need a bigger roster, so let's do this. Let's go. There's uh, Robert Roode, not a bad shout. There is Shayna Baszler, who I'm not really interested in. Uh, do we bring in Robert Roode? Robert Roode would be a decent addition. There's Mark Coffey, who's a heel as well. He's a bruiser. Um, do we bring in... Do we bring them in? I think I've got enough bruisers, though. That's the only problem. I think I have enough bruisers right now. Bobby Roode is a specialist. That means he can probably do a bit of both. Uh, who are we going to bring in, though? Who are we going to bring in? There's this Chester guy. He's a specialist, but he looks like a dork. So I don't know if we want him in. Um, do we bring in Mark Coffey? I think we might. I think we might bring in Mark Coffey. What if we bring him in for two weeks on £24,000 or $24,000? Can we do that? He's good in Extreme Rules matches. All right, let's do it. Mark Coffey, we've brought him in. Is he going to be any good or not? I don't know. Are we going to make another signing? I'm not too keen on any of these people, so I'm actually going to say no. I know we spent 20000 there searching, and we probably should sign in our body, but right now I'm just going to take Mark Coffey in. It's not exactly what I wanted, but here, it's a signing nonetheless. So let's finish booking this show then. So we've got two more matches to fill. I've uh, got a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go. Hold on. So we're going to go with, I think... We're going to go with Kevin Owens and Mark Coffey in the main event. Uh, it won't be for the title, surely not. Although, maybe Kevin Owens is going to be a fighting champion. Will he defend? Will he put the belt on the line against Mark Coffey? Shall we do it? Um, Drew McIntyre's facing Kevin Owens for the belt and Mark Coffey's Scottish. Uh, is there a chance the title was on the line here? Do we stick it on the line? I think we do. We're going to do it. Screw it. Kevin Owens is going to stick the championship on the line. Boom. There you go. And we're going to put that, obviously, in the main event. And we're going to make it an Extreme Rules match. So, boom. That's that done. Extreme Rules, Kevin Owens, coffee for the title. you love to see it. And then in the mid-card match, we need to fill in our match in. So, we will go with... See, it's just all faces we have right now. So, 
it's not ideal no matter who we pick. But considering we've only got Luke Gallows in, although he, he wants rested, yeah, Luke Gallows said he needs rested for the next two weeks. We'll go with Fallon Henley in a rematch against Gigi Dolan. I know it's not going to be good, but we will we'll go with it anyway. And that is it, guys. That is our show. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy enough. Let's run it. Let's do it. Hopefully, we can deliver. Boom. Let's go. It's going to cost us $32,500. I'm okay with that. Let's do this. Let's go. We're in Pittsburgh. Kurt Angle's home. It's Dominic Mysterio. Non-title match against Josh Briggs. And Josh Briggs beats a member of the Judgment Day. And that's the first defeat that the Judgment Day has had here. And it was a good match. Face stars. I'm happy with that start. Good stuff. LA Knight cuts a promo. Popularity goes up by three. Another good start there. Right. We've got Trick Williams and Tim Burr. Trick Williams again picks up another win. Two stars. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, we've got Carmella. That rivalry is going to level four. Good stuff. Uh, Fallon Henry versus Gigi Dolan. I don't expect this to deliver. Gigi Dolan picks up a win. A dull match, yeah, that's kind of what I expected. The rivalry then grows between Judgment Day and, uh, yeah, they, they'll be annoyed that Briggs has just beat Dominic. And in the main event, guys, it's going to be Kevin Owens versus Mark Coffrey. ECW Championship on the line. So, yeah, what a match this is going to be. Kevin Owens defending the belt before the pay-per-view. He's a fighting champion. Hell on a Cell is only one week away. Kevin Owens could have sat at home. He could have rested. He could have waited. He could have kept himself fresh. But nah, he's not doing that. He's coming out here and he is going to take on Mark Coffrey for the title. So here we go. He's taking on his Scottish compatriot, Drew McIntyre, at Hell in a Cell. But before Hell in a Cell, he's taking on Mark Coffrey, a member of Galas. I'm looking forward to this one. Kevin Owens, Coffrey, ECW Championship, Extreme Rules. What's not to like, guys? If this doesn't beat Nitro and Raw, I don't know what will. We have to win this. Well, it doesn't really matter who wins this, but we as ECW have to win this. We have to deliver. We need a good week. Will it deliver? Will it be a good week? Let's hope so. Fingers crossed. And there's Galas in, making his ECW debut tonight. And here comes the champ. Here comes KO. Kevin Owens. ECW champion. Yet to make a successful title defense. Will he have that defense tonight? Maybe he's trying to prove a point here. Before he takes on Drew. Maybe he's trying to show Drew that I'm an ECW champion. This company can be proud of. I'm extreme. You know. You extremely suck. Maybe that's what Kevin Owens is trying to tell Drew McIntyre as KO makes his way to the ring. Big Kevin Owens, the prize fighter, fighting Owens for the biggest prize tonight in ECW. Kevin Owens, Mark Coffrey, ECW Championship on the line. Owens will just keep fighting. And will he be able to bring that fight to Coffrey tonight? Will he be able to bring that fight to Drew McIntyre at Hell in a Cell and come out still the fighting? ECW champion. We are seconds away, moments away. Let's do this. ECW title on the line in the bingo hall, the concert hall. That's what it's all about right there. That title, that beautiful looking specimen of a championship belt. The following contest is an extreme rules. Extreme rules. Kevin Owens Coffrey. Anything goes. Any weapon you find, you can pick it up, you can use it, you can hit your opponent with it, you can eat it, you can shove it up your arse, it doesn't really matter, you can do anything. And this is it, Owens Coffrey. Coffrey looks up for it, he's got those madman eyes. Kevin Owens up, doesn't seem to sweat it. He's ready for this. Born ready maybe. And there you go. Is that a man that's going to be a champion come the end of this match? Drew McIntyre sitting at home tonight watching this. suppose it doesn't really change for Drew. He's still getting his title shot regardless. Would he rather face Kevin Owens or would he rather face Mark Coffrey? I guess we'll find out the answer maybe. 
if the championship changes hands tonight. But here we go, Kevin Owens, Bell has wrong, and look, Mark Coffey's a pretty big guy, actually, when you look at it. Because Owens is not exactly a small dude, but Coffey, looking like he's got the size advantage here over the champion. Kevin Owens now on the ropes. Coffey, big chop there. And now Coffey working the leg of Owens. Using the rope there to try and twist and bend the knee. Big forearm, big chop. Snap me up from Coffey and he drops a knee onto the forehead of KO and then he just rubs his hand into his face and Kevin Owens gets the elbow up there so Kevin Owens having to kick out early on there. And where is Coffey going? And Kevin Owens just flies himself over the top rope. Holy shit. Kevin Owens. That was insane there, just flying over the top. Gotta love it. Now he's got the trash can. Kevin Owens is the one with the weapon. And he's looking for another weapon. Kevin Owens giving the fans what they want. They want a table. They are going to get a table. Kevin Owens slides into the ring and then catches Coffey with a big forearm. And throws Coffey in and Kevin Owens, I don't think he's done here. Kendall stick time. Kevin Owens again now, going for something else. Going for a steel chair. Oh, he can't hit Coffee with Coffee Ducks. Coffee with big strikes now, and Coffee going for potentially a DDT maybe on the chair. Brainbuster on the chair. Holy crap. This ECW title is up for grabs tonight. Owens goes for a shot. Owens in, downstairs, has a DDT on the floor. So Owens in. Up to the, up to the task tonight. He knows that. This belt is on the line, and here he goes, Kevin Owens getting into the ring, we've got the weapons galore, shitload of weapons here, awaiting both men, who's going to be the first to use them, Coffee jumps over Owens, and hits, oh, hits a hip toss, Owens lands in the middle of the ring, there's not much of the ring that's not been covered by weapons right now, so Owens kind of lucky to dodge that, Mark Coffey, oh and a big knee, the face of Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens are using the ropes to pull himself up, is he regretting defending the belt tonight? I don't know, he might be, he might be soon. Big elbow, Owens catches Coffey coming in. Owens, snap suplex, rolls through. Into a cover, Coffey though, kicks it at one. Kick to the gut there from Kevin Owens. Coffey though, has Owens up. Owens fighting his way out of it. Owens with the elbows, and it's a big boot. A big boot there from Kevin Owens. Into the corner. Owens sends Coffey. What's Owens going for now? So it's DDT off the top rope maybe. Owens plants Coffey with a DDT. And now Kevin Owens has got some rage here. And Owens again tosses himself over a tailbone. Crashes into the mat. Kevin Owens crashed and burned there, flew over the top rope, and he's not done. Kevin Owens just, that seemed to anger them, he's getting more weapons. Holy crap, he's got the weapon. He's got the ladder. And into the ring it goes. Coffee now, he's got Owens up, Owens. Big forearm to the back. Oh, and into the steel steps goes Coffee. And now into the barricade. No Irish weapon. Kevin Owens is the one who goes into the barricade. And into the ring then. Owens gets sent. He rolls on top of the ladder. What's Coffee going for here? He's got the sledgehammer. Oh, and Owens catches him coming in. Owens in a big elbow. Owens. Oh, hits the uh, edge of attic. Again, Owens. A DDT Owens beginning to turn this one in his favour perhaps, he has the steel chair Oh and he hits a grounded coffee Owens still with the chair Where's he, where's he going to go with it now? Oh he went for it, oh coffee caught him Coffee caught him, just launched that chair into his face Owens now getting the ladder Owens, what's Owens doing? Kevin Owens, holy shit. Oh, and he, Owens fell off the ladder. 
Owens has just fell off the ladder. And now Coffey, big strikes to Kevin Owens. And I think Kevin Owens has been busted open, but Kevin Owens caught Coffey coming in there. Owens, DDT on the table, holy shit. What a maneuver for Kevin Owens. Irish whip countered. Got a submission locked in here, a bear hug. Owens up. Big shot there to the head of Coffrey. Owens now into the corner. What's Owens got set up for Coffrey now? He's getting that table. He's getting that table. He's getting that table, and I think Coffey could be in trouble. Could we be looking at a suplex? Top rope superplex through the table. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit, and Kevin Owens. Could he put Coffey away here? Stunner. And that's going to do it, surely. Kevin Owens with the KO stunner. And oh my god, Coffey's kicked out. I don't, I don't have words. How the hell is Coffey kicked out of that? Coffey is kicked out of that, man. Unbelievable. Alright, let's, uh, what else can we do here? Coffey now. Grabbing Owens. Owens though, fighting his way out. Owens, German suplex onto the trash can. And now Owens with a big boot, and now is Owens moments away here from finishing this one potentially. Going for a DDT again, Coffrey. Coffrey with shots to the gut. Counters for Kevin Owens, hip toss. And oh, Coffey with a big, massive bulldog. Coffey and Irish whip. Ducks underneath. Coffey catches him in, coming in with a power slam. Big, massive maneuver there for Coffey. Turning this one in his tide here. But he, the ladder blocks, blocks his run. That was a bit of a disaster. Close line over the top. And Kevin was meant for a. Big cross body over the top, didn't exactly work, but we're still in a, a decent position here. What's Kevin Owens setting up now? Come on. Something big. Kevin Owens. Oh, brain buster like maneuver. And Kevin Owens is going to the top rope here. Kevin Owens is on the top. Frog splash for KO rolls through and <laughs> holy shit. Kevin Owens now he's trying to put him away, I believe. But Mark Coffey's uh no Mark Mark Coffey's managing to counter everything we've got here. <laughs> he can't seem to do a maneuver on Coffey. What the hell is this? Oh Coffey's back in it now. We're ducking a few maneuvers. Oh, Kevin Owens, that's a stunner. It was a mess. It was an absolute mess. But Kevin Owens finds a, st a second stunner. And that will do it. There you go. Kevin Owens gets the win. Uh, a little bit of a fucking botch there towards the end. But still, a win is a win. Kevin Owens collects his belt. He's still the champion. Hard fought victory. And that's what it's all about. Extreme Rules match. So Kevin Owens, three and a half star match. Good end, TCW. And surely, 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 this has been enough to give us a week that beats both, or at least beats one, of Raw and Nitro. Fingers crossed. We're going to find out now. Let's see. The opening match. We had the best opening match, three stars. Mid-card match, okay, we were better than Raw, but worse than Nitro. Second mid-card match, absolutely sucked. And our main event wasn't as good. We only did 3.5 stars. Damn it.
I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be very close. I don't, I don't know which way this is going to come out, to be honest. I, I really don't know who is going to win this week. It's so close between all three brands. We did 36.4. Fans, what's Raw doing? 41.6. We've, we've been beaten by Raw. And then WCW, 40. So we've been beaten by both. So disappointing, guys. We put on a pretty good show there. But it wasn't enough, and you can see that we're still last now, and the two brands above us are beginning to uh, create a little bit of an opening there, which is uh, very, very disappointing. Raw have just stuck another uh, power card on us. Select the opposing brand, double the price of the power cards. Jesus Christ, okay. And now Eric Bischoff as well, bad publicity. Select a brand and steal 10% of their fans from next week's show. So that's the last thing we need heading into this, but it looks like we've been screwed. Uh, Mark Coffrey wants to stay. Um, okay, let's talk figures. Well, how about 39k? Uh, Mark Coffrey, if, if you want me to stay at ECW, you'll need to meet my asking price. You know what? Let's just give Mark Coffrey a one-off. He came in, he had a good match, he'd done a job, he was taking Drew's place, essentially, but we're not going to sign you. All right, boom. Uh, Luke Gallows, my contract will expire at the end of the week. I'd be interested in staying. He wants 39k. Is Luke Gallows a guy that I would be interested in keeping? Let's talk figures. Let's. How about 27k? Yeah, let's try and get him down a little bit. Because he wanted two weeks off. See, that, that pisses me off. This guy wanted two weeks off. I gave him two weeks off. And now he's just been an arsehole. I, I don't understand this. From uh, Luke Gallows. Luke will we'll, we'll meet his offer. But it, it, he, he's not being reasonable. Christina Fury. My contract with ECW. I'd be interested in staying. Um, Alright. Let's be honest. Christina Fury is a nobody. Let's try and. Let's see if we can. 28k to stay at the end of the season. No. Let, let's, let's lowball her. Because I mean, surely she'll accept that. Okay, she did. Uh, okay, Triple H, Stephanie Man. Well, hey, what was that stunt you just pulled? You got, you like that? Got to get dirty if you want to win. If you want to play it that way, fine. Watch your back. Okay, GG Dolan. All right, Triple H giving us advice. Carmella wants to team up with uh, Christina Fury. Sure, we'll give that a go. And LA Knight is thankful that we kept our promise. So, boom. There you go, guys. Another week of ECW. We've got the Hell in a Cell Peter View up next. We've got five matches that we need to book. We've got a full roster, I believe, to choose from, so that will help. Uh, will we need to add some additions? I do not know, but we're going to have a bunch of title matches at Hell in a Cell. I'm looking forward to it. Will we even book a Hell in a Cell match? It depends. Our budget right now is 42000 I don't know if we'll be able to afford a Hell in a Cell match, but we'll try our best, and I will catch you guys in the next video. So that's it. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I've been Scott 90 Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, peace.